Turning now to an update, a big update from the Jaguars. Tim Tebow is no longer with the team. Sports director Chris Porter is here with reaction to that news. And Chris, it is getting a lot of reaction. No doubt about it. As much as Tim Tebow Nation, that's what I like to call his fans here on our first coast, did not, did not want this to happen. If you're a diehard football fan, you knew at the start of this, Tebow making the team was a long shot. When they signed him in May, he was 33 years old at the time and had not played in the NFL since 2015. Then you were asking a guy who had never played any position other than quarterback in high school and college during his first stint, uh, during his, also during his first stint in the NFL, to play a totally different position at the highest level. It proved to be too much. Tebow, 104 Jaguars, released today in the tight end experiment and basically bringing his football career to a close. Urban Meyer saying Tebow's reaction was great and that they talked about it Monday night and this morning. Meyer adding the whole roster management is really critical over the next two weeks. As for one of the major reasons Tebow was let go, his lackluster performance on special teams. Two of the important phases are tackling, and he never had tackled before. And the tight end position is one if you can't contribute on special teams, that's a tough go. And the fact that six tight ends played on Saturday night and only Tebow did not participate in a single special teams rep spoke volumes about his chance of making the team. We, we talked last night and we talked again this morning, um, as I did with the other guys. Elite, elite warrior, elite competitor, uh, but he's also 34 years old. You know, we knew that was an uphill battle for Tim and, and uh, players loved him, locker room loved him, but uh, it was the right thing. Needless to say, a lot of folks on Twitter had something to say about Tim Tebow today, so let's get socially acceptable. But it was Tebow himself that actually broke the news, the former Nice High and Florida Gator quarterback saying, in part, he never wanted to make decisions out of fear of failure and is grateful for the chance to have pursued his dream. There it is. Tebow goes on to thank the Jaguars and quotes Romans 8 and 28. God works all things together for the good. The NFL Network's Ian Rappaport noting that this was a fascinating no risk gamble and just didn't work out. The Jags aren't moving on. Jim Nagy, executive director of the Senior Bowl, among those praising Tebow for putting himself back in the arena. There is zero shame in that. So what's next for old Timmy? Baseball is presumably done. Does he get back in the broadcasting heck Tony Romo did and he also got to uh, join the Dallas Mavericks for a day. Maybe Tim will try basketball too. Or as Spencer Hall of the SEC Network puts it, maybe Tim can just go be the buffest dude at the local gym. Honestly, that seems really fulfilling. We'll have more on the whole Tim Tebow news today tonight at six.